What's up, guys? It's Connor here bringing you a flawless kill confirmed game on Village, going 38 and 0 with the G36. So I hope you guys enjoy, and let's hop right into our topic today. And it is written. We are talking about confidence today, guys. Last time we talked about pride, which is not good. Pride, no good. Pride, good. Nope, not at all. Pride is not good, guys. But confidence, confidence is sexy. Confidence is great, guys. Um, girls like confidence, guys like confidence, everybody likes people with confidence. If you're confident, it shows you know what you're doing. It makes people believe like, hey, this guy does know what he's doing. This guy is good at whatever he's confident in. He knows he's going to go out there and do the very best job, and we know that he'll go out there and do the very best job. It is said that girls like a man with confidence, but not a guy that is all prideful and all like, oh, look at me, I'm the best person to ever walk the face of the earth. I should be king of the world. For example, just to get just to get some people riled up in this one, Kobe is confident. Every time he walks out onto the court, Kobe knows he's the best player out there. And he knows that he's going to be able to go have his way with whoever's out there and be able to score as many points and do whatever he wants each night, every game. But on the other hand, LeBron is prideful. LeBron is arrogant. LeBron is cocky. Kobe's probably a little bit cocky too, but uh, LeBron is the king of cockiness. He, well, the self-proclaimed king. He proclaims himself to be the king. He gave himself the nickname of the king when he has not done anything, guys. That is prideful. He's got nothing to back up being the king. He's won no championship rings. He's done nothing. So there's a difference here. Confidence is silent, guys. Kobe doesn't walk out there before each and every game and go, hey, guys, just letting you know over there, I'm going to come out there and I'm going to whoop on you all because I'm just 10 times better than you. No, Kobe Kobe doesn't do that. He doesn't He doesn't even call himself the king or anything, even though he's won five championships. LeBron, though, LeBron is confident, too. I mean, LeBron knows when he goes out there that he's also going to be the best player on the court. But then he also mixes in the pridefulness with always talking about how great he is. So, some of the stuff he says is just he's an arrogant person. And so, yeah, just, just throwing that in there gets some people riled up that like LeBron. Um, but anyways, guys, confidence is described as a state of being certain that either a hypothesis, either a hypothesis or prediction is correct or that a chosen course of oxygen, oxygen, <laughs> I don't think oxygen is a word, but oh wait, that's, a, that'd be a cool word. You know what I'm saying? That a chosen course of action is the best or most effective. So it's, it's basically saying that you are almost, you are certain. We're going to stick with that part. The being certain, you are certain that a hypothesis or prediction is correct. Um, correct or that the thing like a chosen course of action is correct and self-confidence which is what we're going to be focused on today basically self-confidence is being confident in yourself so we're just going to f uh, focus on the being certain part of confidence because hypothesis prediction pff, who cares i don't even know what that stuff's talking about but when you're confident you're certain that you're the best person that you are best not ne not necessarily you're the best but that you will get the job done if you're confident when you walk into school that you're going to do well on this test, then most likely you'll do well on this test. You're not going to go around and tell everybody, yep, getting a better grade than you and you and you because I am way smarter. You don't say that. You just know confidence is quiet. That's the biggest thing about confidence. Confidence is quiet. You don't have to say anything to be confident. You can keep your mouth shut. You can be the quietest guy on the face of the earth, but when you step onto the basketball court or football field or figure skating rink or whatever you do um you will you know that you can perform your very best each and every game you know that every shot you shoot is going in or every pass thrown your way you are going to catch or every loop de doop de thing that you do while figure skating you're going to land that is confidence and now self-confidence is very very important self-confidence there's different ways to be self-confident. Self-confident people, you do what you believe is right no matter what because you are confident. You are certain that what, you're, that what you're standing for is right. You might be confident. You might stand against bullying, and instead of falling into peer pressure and starting to bullying somebody, you're actually standing for what you believe in because you're confident you're right. You know for a fact that bullying or whatever is not good, that bullying, beating up on this kid over here is not good. So you take a stand. You tell those people to cut it out rather than jumping in, just being like, well, maybe – Maybe bullying's not that bad, you know what I'm saying? But no, you stand there and you're like, uh, yeah, bullying's bad, guys. Leave them alone. Um, people are self-confident, are willing to take risks and go to the extra mile to achieve stuff because they think they think that they're going to be able to get there. They know if they run another mile that they'll be able to finish that mile and they'll be, they'll be stronger. Self-confident people wait for others to congratulate you on your accomplishments. This is huge, guys. Prideful people will go out there looking for, they'll be going out telling the entire world that they scored 30 points last night and they'll be going telling everybody trying to get other people to say 
Oh, wow, great game, great game. You played awesome out there. 30 points, that's crazy. Whereas confident people will just be walking around and someone will be like, um, someone will just have known that they got it. Maybe a teammate will be like, good job, dude, 30 points, that's crazy. Or someone out in the, or fans or stuff. You will get people will recognize what you do. You don't have to go out there trying to find people to recognize it. I guarantee people recognize what you did. People will know that you scored 30 points and they'll come up and they'll congratulate you on your points. And you'll just, just say thank you and you'll move on and you'll feel really great about it. Instead of the prideful people going out trying to tell each and every person they see that they scored 30 points. And then they'll be like, good job. And you go, I know, I know. I'm just awesome. No, guys, confident, quiet. Quiet is confidence, guys. Quiet is confidence. You have To have self-confidence, you have to have self-esteem, which is huge, guys. Self-esteem is so big. Um, very important to have good self-esteem not overly confident not prideful but a good self-esteem you you feel good about yourself you you dress to impress every day you you look nice you come out there you don't wake up out of bed roll right out of bed and walk out um walk out to school or whatever and just be like oh well I don't feel good about myself I look ugly today I'm not I'm not gonna do good today no you don't you don't think that you're like Oh yeah, I'm looking good today, I'm dressed to impress, I'm ready to go out there and face the world. Basically dominate the world, essentially. But you don't say anything about it, you just know that you can do it. And the Bible, this is going by quick, guys. I'm probably going to have to do another thing on these. These things are way too short. But Bible says in Hebrews 10, 35, it says to hold on to your confidence. It says do not lose your confidence, for it is very important. Um, Therefore, don't throw away your confidence, which has great reward, for you need endurance so that you have done the will of God, you have received what is promised. So don't throw away your confidence, guys. Even God says, hold on to your confidence. Don't be cocky, but hold on to your confidence, guys. I hope you enjoy. I'll see you guys later. Adios.